In this video I'll show you how to change the file association for files for photos on your iPhone in iOS. You can actually change the way images are opened. It's not really it's not really intuitive like on Android for me. Maybe I'm just not used to it. You have the option to open with to share with another app. This is really a great option. If I want to open this picture in uh, Snapseed for example to edit it, I could open the Snapseed app and open the picture from there or I can choose the share function open in another app and choose the app from there. There is an option in the app info in the file info to change the default app. So I show you now for these files. This is the file browser app. I will show you from the beginning. So you open the file browser app and then you can go to on my iPhone and if you have a picture that's on your iPhone you can change the file association with it for it and you see now the picture is opened with the preview app but i can do a long press on the picture then file info and you see always open with and that setting can be changed i could change it to snapseed or another app if i wanted to you have the option here to choose to always open jpeg files with snapseed or only open this file this is just an example. Snapseed is not really. It's a editing app. It's not such a such so much of a viewer app. But this actually doesn't really work very well on iOS. On Android, this works perfectly. The Snapseed app opens the file, but here it just opens the Snapseed app, and that's all. So if I wanted to do this, maybe another app would work, but it's. Uh, it's not easy on iOS whenever you do file management it's pretty difficult. I could use the open with menu option here and that would be much quicker much easier but I wanted to show you that it's not so easy to manage files on iOS and it's always a, a, a bit of a difficult thing and I can change here from um, Snapseed to preview the preview is gonna be working because it's the, one of the built-in apps from iOS. Usually these kind of restrictions there, uh, I don't know who's responsible for this, but yeah, you know how it, how it happens. And yeah, this kind of file here, it's a .jpg. I can change it to .txt to see what apps I can use to open text files. This file is actually a PNG file or a JPEG file, a PNG file, I believe. But because I renamed it to a text file, now it looks like a text file. I could read the actual contents of the file. And if I choose get info, I can change the option always open with instead of HP Smart. I don't know what's with that. I think it's a printer software. I could change it to run, run a stone, run a stone. Okay. So I'm not sure where is that if I installed it or it was default coming default with iOS. So I can read the file with this uh, app. Like this, you can choose uh, even a code editor app. You can choose any kind of app. You can open XML files. You can open um, some files when you open them like this. They will not be easy to read. So this is a text file, but it's actually a picture. So it's not a great example, but it works. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you get an idea of how to open files with different apps by default. Thanks for watching. I almost love with Cristiano Ronaldo. Siri, ya boo boo, ya be ya boo, ya boo boo.